I don't know if, if this is what an artist dreams of when you're dealing with such a provocative subject and then you have all these other things happening in public spaces around statues and somehow there's a connection between the work you're doing and currently what's, what's unfolding in real life. Indeed. Um, I think a lot of what I've been doing actually has a strong um, tradition and ironically a very... Is a very con has a very contemporary edge to it. Mm. Um, so it's interesting that these two uh, issues have, have uh, come into the same playing field. So um, the horse is a very um, interesting image to work with, both historically and what it represents yeah. today. What is your fascination with horses, though? Because there is a power and, and mysticism and magic to them that transcends throughout ages, through mm. different cultures, mm. through different race groups. Mm. Um, I think horses, possibly there's an art historical reason. Um, they're probably the second most uh, drawn object uh, figurative aspect in art making. Um, first, obviously, being a human figure. Yeah. And then I'd say that in, historically horses are the next most important figurative uh, component of making work. Um, uh, so there's that aspect. Um, their relation to history and power. Um, horses are uh, creatures that have, that have been used as tools, I suppose, in, in conquering, um, in agriculture, in all, all fields, all, all aspects of human life are somehow integrated with this, the horse. So, um, and then they're just very beautiful to draw. <laughs> yeah. You had uh, your first exhibition in 1999. How different is this one? I mean, uh, of course, the fact that there's so many years have passed since the first mm. exhibition. But what, what did you learn or what were you able to, to talk about and, and expose about yourself in this exhibition that maybe you didn't really touch on in the first exhibition? And I know everyone is different mm. from the last one. Um, the first exhibition, I suppose, was a lot more um, pedantic or didactic. It, it, uh, I picked on a particular idea about a horse that was mm. in 1999 I picked on a particular idea about horses um, and this one I found that um, revisiting this theme 16, 17 years later um, I, I found that suddenly a whole bunch of new things opened up for me um, instead of interrogating one aspect of this I found kind of avenues into other other, other, other readings of this yeah. of the horse. Can you highlight some of those avenues, or is that something you want the person coming to the exhibition to maybe discover for themselves about Red Mountain? Well, yeah, I'm that of course. But um, what I've integrated into, onto, or imposed onto the armature of this horse is. Um, is a kind of experiential notion that I live in a very aggressive urban environment and um, that definitely feeds into how I've interpreted this horse. Um, the horses become quite architectural in a way. Um, they also reference parts of the city, parts of Johannesburg, which are, um, I suppose, uh, quite uh, brutal. So the, the layers to the exhibition which um, are more than just about horses. Mm. They're about experiences in Johannesburg in, and in South Africa ultimately. It's amazing that you use words like aggressive and all that stuff mm. because horses can be all of those things. Mm. They can be fluid, they can be quite rigid, they can be quite uh, structured, they can be... Yeah as you build things, break things down. How do you then find, um, and, and, and it's not a good news story, but how do you then make sure that there's almost a balance to your story too? Or are we, don't we really care because it's going to invoke an emotion either way, good or yeah. bad? 
I suppose um, the notion of oh, design aesthetics, uh, um, the the idea of uh, balancing a a an image composition, is in itself a way of uh, creating or, or observing something which might not be uh, uh, easy to look at and finding a way to make sense of it. So, um, but I'm not sure if, 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 if harmony is always what one's after as an You're artist. Sure. Yeah. Okay, dates, times, anybody who needs to come and see it. We've been showing some of the uh, images on our screen. Uh, it looks absolutely fascinating. Anybody wants to come, right? Um, the, the show opens at Hazard uh, in Maboning at Arts and Main at 12 o'clock today okay. and runs till the 3rd of May. Okay, so there's no excuses. It's got a bit of a lengthy stay there, so we'll make sure that you get uh, to Hazard at uh, Arts and Main in Maboning. It's also a very beautiful part of the city, actually. Great afternoon out for you and the family. Go and check it out. Artist Red Martin in studio with us talking about his exhibition called Drawing Horses. It's all about the politics of power. Uh, yeah, I would recommend that you go and check it out. A little bit earlier, Lebo.